She's not gonna do it. Uh -uh. Nope. Hey kids, Petaluma Pete here, and we're in downtown Petaluma today. But I don't have very good news because I fell off my bike. Ah! Yeah, and I cried, especially when I got the bill from the emergency room. So you won't see Petaluma Pete out on the street anytime soon. But meanwhile, this reminds me of a new word that we need to learn, and that word is Pedouin. Have you ever heard that word before? Well, come with me. Let's find out what it's all about. <laughs> the word Pedouin, kids, is a new word. It was invented by Bill and Amarins Harrison, parents of the three kids you just saw. Pedouin is taken from the word Bedouin, which is an Arab of the desert, a nomad, or a wanderer. And that's just what these five modern-day explorers are all about, kids. They departed from Mount Vernon, Kentucky on Saturday, August 1st, 2009, heading for a Fairbanks, Alaska arrival in the summer of 2010. And somebody said they can see Russia from there. When they stopped off in Petaluma, Petaluma Pete was there to represent kids only. One family, two wheels, 7,000 miles. The vehicle they were riding intrigued us more than anything else that day, so we asked Bill to give us a guided tour of this incredible five-seater. This bike was built by Commotion Bike Company in Eugene, Oregon, and uh, it's called a Tandem uh, Quint. It's a five-person seater bike. It's just like a two-seater tandem but stretched to five seats. I sit here. Jasmine, our middle daughter five, sits here. Robin, our youngest daughter three, sits here. My beautiful wife from the Netherlands sits right here, age 34. And my oldest born daughter, Cheyenne Phoenix, who is seven, she sits here and she calls my gears out because I have no clue what gear I'm in. She looks at this sprocket right here, the front bracket, and there's three rings and she says high, low, or medium. And then she looks back here and depending on where it's at, she gives me a number one through 10. So she'll say high three or low four. And she knows what that means for going up the mountain or on a flat. And basically, it's uh, 14, about 12 and a half foot long from center to center wheelbase. It takes three lanes to turn it around. And Jasmine Summer, come up here, Jasmine, get by your seat. She has learned to sing on the bike and keep time to the cadence of the chain. Oh, good. And she makes up all kinds of songs while she's riding. And what a chain it is, kids. A chain is a flexible, interlinked series of metal connectors that are linked together to make one long piece. And, in this case, over 20 feet of chain is used as it stretches from the back wheel to the front set of pedals. The pedals are made of strong tempered steel kids and they have straps on them along with light reflectors for added safety and the handlebars are wrapped with tape and some have rear view mirrors, some have reflectors and one even has a bell. Each of the three kids have their names painted right on the vehicle where they sit and everybody has their very own water bottle and this very cool water bag that has a plastic tube connected to it that runs from the water bag all the way up to where the person can place the other end into his or her mouth and drink while riding without having to stop. The tire tread is designed to more easily navigate through water. Little Robin has a built-in pad so she can sleep while riding. And they have stickers all over the bike that they collect as souvenirs from state parks and other destinations, and listen as Cheyenne tells us every state they have pedaled through so far. Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, Arizona, I mean, New Mexico, Arizona, California, Mexico, California, next stop, Oregon. They carry everything with them, including a tent. 20 pounds, oh gosh, feel that. 20 pounds of tent, man. <laughs> Killing us. And then in here we have all our sleeping bags. You can tell it's so fluffy. Sleeping bags for all of us, all down sleeping bags. Right. In here are, are our sleeping mats. They fill up to about an inch thick, uh -huh. half inch thick, not about a half inch thick. With well, air. Thermal rest, perfect, they self inflate. And then in here, every, every one of us have one bag of clothes. So what we have on our backs, and what's on our bags, that's it. And then in here, this is a new addition once we got to uh, 
to uh, Dallas, Texas, all our coats and jackets. Because uh -huh. until then we didn't have to have any. This is our emergency tarp. We, we many times, about four or five times, we've had to stop when it started raining and cover up and hide under our tarp to keep dry. All of these items are scientifically stuffed into this little caboose, kids. This is literally their house. Everything they own is either in this little caboose or on the bike or on their backs. The Pedouin stop over here in Petaluma was about a week long, kids. The longest stop in their trip so far. Everyone was anxious to get back on the bike, get back on the road, and continue their journey to Alaska. And as Bill was putting the finishing touches on the hardware, Amarins was inside going over the map with helpful Petalumans while listening to stories about the history of Petaluma. One day, the Petaluma militia decided they were going to march on San Rosa. And they marched this far to the Washoe House. You know the Washoe mm -hmm, House? Yeah, yeah. They got to the Washoe House and they were hot and thirsty, so they stopped. They stopped, that's right. And that's as far <laughs> as the, yes, the Union Assault made it, all right. So so mean, sounds, sounds like, sounds like Petalumans. <laughs> well, that about wraps it up, kids. As we bid adieu to these modern-day explorers, please remember to be nice to everyone, listen to your teachers, and eat more veggies. Wave, come on, Pedaluma! Wave, girls, wave! Bye, everybody, wave! We'll be back one day!